It is Australia's own car. General Motors Holden came into being in 1931, assembling cars in all states. It's an icon with a 160 year history and it's deeply regrettable that it cannot be sustained for the future. With the Commodore, GMH were back in the black with record sales in 1979. Peter Rock in the Marlboro Holden dealer team comes across to take the checkered flag for the Peter Rock. This is a tough day for the Holden family. Gideon Haig, the relevant union and the federal government both seem surprised by today's announcement, but is it fair to say that it's been inevitable for a long time? Oh yeah, um, it does seem strange that we're lamenting the loss of the brand when we watched the extinction of the enterprise in such a muted fashion. And we're really kind of conducting obsequies over an empty coffin today. You know, 10 years ago, Holden still sold about 132,000 cars in Australia. They now sell about a third of that. Whatever brand loyalty existed uh, has long since been leached away. Why did Australians stop buying so many Holdens over the past couple of decades? The car industry here has become incredibly diverse with the high proportion of imports. People have, have more opportunities to pick and choose and they've been determined to exploit them. And what happened back in 2013 when the, um, when the industry's future was up for grabs was that it really found that it had no friends on either side of politics. Previously, the car industry had been able to depend on a, on a broad-based alliance between capital and labour, but that had changed uh, in the last decade. The federal government is playing this like Holden took taxpayer handouts for years and now they're letting the nation down. Is that fair? Well, I think what we're coming to terms with uh, today is, is the, the loss of a, of a way of life because you know, Holden didn't just make cars, it, it made lives. It provided stable and secure incomes for generations of Australians. And in that sense, the car industry was a colossal contributor to our welfare and, and to our freedom. Uh, I think um, when I was writing about the industry uh, back in 2013, it didn't feel like a moribund industry. It didn't feel like uh, a group of people who were taking handouts from the government. It felt like an incredibly vital and energised and dedicated and exciting industry to work in with a considerable future if treated in the right way. Holden has been a very powerful Australian brand. Why do you think Australians feel such an emotional connection to it? That's a, a good question, actually, because, of course, since 1931, it's been wholly owned by General Motors. The, the residual uh, connection to Australian ownership is, has long since gone. I think perhaps it's maybe as simple as the fact that it retained the name of a family and therefore retained kind of warm connotations of, uh, of, of continuity. But it survived um, generations of, uh, of, of change because we were actually quite good at making cars in a very small market. It's very, very challenging in a, in a country with such great distances, um, needing to produce uh, components of such precision and operate to relatively small volumes, uh, volumes. It's astonishing that the industry survived as long as it did. Gideon Haig, good to have you on the program. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.